What's going on, everyone? Let me get a boom. What's going on? Here with Alan Roberts. What's up, homie? What's up, man? We're about, oh, we're about so to find out. We're about to find out if I we can if I can find the exact boiling point of brain. Now there's there's so, no you're you're gonna be fine. So just just a heads up, this is not gonna be a roast. As much as I know everybody came here for it, thumbnail was clickbaity. What we want to do. See, Alan and me have, have come a long way in the past year and a half, two years, and now we're business partners, and now we have literally um, the best-selling appetite suppressant, to my knowledge, of all time. No morbidity. And so we need to be professional. Another thing is we have a competing brand with Greg, meaning that we both sell sport nutrition supplements, and we just don't want the smoke of lawyers and this, that, and the third. Um, although we're not going to say anything that's defamatory or libelous, no. I just don't think anything is gained by you guys or by us by just going here and trashing this man right here on your screen. So what, what I would like to do, Alan, and um, if you want to do something different is play what he says and just go over like our thoughts on it and, and what, you know, what it is that, that he did right or wrong, but also as a preface, essentially, so a competing person went out, tested his tercasterone, and it came out having literally none of it, but it did show that it had something called ectosterone in it. So <laughs> there's a whole lot to unravel here. So, uh, but uh, just so everybody understands, one of the, I don't understand this side of the business, and I'm obviously now uh, you know in business with Mark with this. So as we were talking, like as I. I see the tons of videos like Kenny KO's in a video, John Bravo, like, and it's a, it's a thing cause it involves both, uh, Greg over here and real, real, uh, not real place for, um, uh, more place, for more dates, Derek, yeah, more right? place, more dates. Derek's good dude. I love yeah. Derek. And I think and, he's handled this situation like a champ. Um, cause he's addressed it head on. He's presented his own testing. And to my knowledge, they don't use the same manufacturer. So right. Derek is good. Derek is good people. Like Derek's a guy who we would get along with 100%. I've spoken to Derek. I have great respect for Derek. And, you know, I like Greg. I've, I've come a long way. I, I don't, I don't not like him. Um, so, well, let, let's just, let's play it. And so I looked into this as I read the subreddit and I'm like, what is going on? So obviously I contact the manufacturer and say, you seen this? What do you have to say to this? Okay, that's the intro to get your attention. First of all, he's going to get into this more, and I have a lot to say about this. He should know without contacting the manufacturer if the testing was done or not. Because what that shows me, that makes me question if this is an NSF or a GMP lab. NSF and GMP labs test on the way in and way out. Now, I'm not saying he isn't, but there are levels to this. So let, let's go for it. Coach Greg, and I'm here on vacation in Magnetowan. He's making cash on that Tercastron, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be super, super nice because I really do want to. I, I don't know this part of the business. I just want to learn about it because I mean, uh, <laughs> just relaxing I, and. Oh, it's yes, interesting I'm that he's. It's interesting that he's using his like normal voice though. It is, isn't it? So, so you're saying that he uses a fake voice. <laughs> I thought you were going to be nice. <laughs> that, 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 dude, that's me being super nice. Oh, that is nice. Like, yeah, there's a lot, yeah. lot you can say. Yeah. Apparently, subreddit is blowing up. People are talking about turkestrone that, well, it's not real. That it was never real. That we're scamming people, pretending that we have turkestrone when we don't. Does anyone actually believe that? Well, I mean, I think there's a case to be looked at because we saw a test and it literally had zero. Now, we'll, we'll get to the competitor thing. I think maybe one in a thousand. Maybe No, there's two here. At least two in a thousand. Anybody in the comments oh. section got anything? <laughs> I mean, what, a rare what, person would actually. What I, what I don't, what, my biggest thing about all this stuff is it's the same thing if you look back at the 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 spike dosing of, of protein powders i think i think you actually exposed that too where it's like it supplements are actually very like as long as they're not overblown or anything like that they have their place and to basically make people not have faith in them is is not great you know like it hurts <laughs> yeah it hurts people because 
because what we're seeing, like Alan is literally getting people calling him crying because they're finally able to control their appetite. Right. You know, and that's, that's what we do this for. You know, for me, I coach kids because man, I saw, I saw a kid use proper arm drive for the first time in their life, increase their, you know, decrease their 40 yard dash time. That's what I love that. But imagine if you have someone who's morbidly obese, who can't control their appetite and see, that's why right. we do it. Um, but yeah. I actually think we're, we're that stupid to the rest of you that know we would never do this. What exactly is going on? And so what's happening is someone with a competing company tested our products of which I don't know if he actually did, but according to him, the label claims are not accurate. And so I looked into this as I read the subreddit and I'm like, what is going on? So obviously I contact the manufacturer and say, you seen this? What do you have to say to this? He says, all our testing is done. FDA certified the proper way, what you're supposed to do. Third party testing being done. And so they're saying it's legit. And so I'm sitting here thinking, well, you're saying it's legit, but how do I trust anybody anymore? I don't know. And so is. Okay. Here's the first problem. You're trusting people. Okay, at the end of the day, if you're using an NSF GMP lab, now this is just for everybody. That lab will test going in, going out. And they are audited by the FDA as well as NSF. So NSF, and, and a lot of people don't understand this, NSF means nothing. It just means that you got pre-audited. But generally speaking, most facilities will be audited regularly by the FDA. So FDA compliance and NSF don't necessarily have to be the same thing. There's also other organizations. Now, with a brand like Ambrosia, okay, we go above and beyond. We got NSF for sport, which is expensive as heck. Okay, we got BSCG testing for banned supp substances. So we go above and beyond uh, because that's what we do. And it adds up to dollars a product. And as you know, when margins are involved, dollars a product is, is, is going to hurt. So right. that's what I'm... Let me play more. This guy deliberately lying, trying to make us look bad. Maybe. Maybe not. What? Maybe not though. Oh my God. <laughs> so just, just, just legal, just legally, uh, just as a question mark, because I mean, this is, this is where I get to. And, it, and by the way, just so everybody understands, this is why I wanted to go into business with Mark. Cause I, he has like, even when, even when me and him had beef, like it was always, he ha runs the top of the line products right like like you're above above re reproach i like i wanted something hater proof because we we're trying to change the world right mm -hmm. but if he is saying that he's been lied to could he like should there not be already legal papers filed like i mean because this is disparaging to his business well theoretically but he goes on to explain why like yes the video the videos it's you know, uh, let's watch it. Well, let's see it. Let's see it. And so just like when I started selling turkesterone, I said, what is turkesterone? Nobody knows. No, we actually do know what it is, Greg. It's a plant sterile. It's been around since Russia back in the day. So you have various things. In fact, in the 90s and early 2000s, ectosterone was used. Ectosterone has two sources, one being cyanotis, which is Chinese source, and one being raponticum, which is Russian source, that good Putin shit right there. So no, we do know what turkesterone, Greg, we do know what it is because it's being sold since last century. Every Maybe you're 12 year old viewers didn't know what it was, but to say that nobody knew what turkesterone is, I had an ectosterone product in 2005 called Antigen. Look it up. What is turkesterone? Nobody knows. What's with what, what's with the 1980s porn music? I love I mean, porn music. I don't watch porn because I heard it's bad for dopamine, but I love the music. Sometimes I just blast porn music. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much holds stands true to this day is there in fact turkesterone in the product that we're selling that's something you should be able to answer here's the thing oh god i can't wait to end this video here's the thing let's look at kinetic okay okay there's the organic mushroom blend there's the ginseng extract l cartine l tartrate back down to bacopa monieri energy blend there's alpha size neurofactors those are all things that are in this product 
guarantee test it quantitatively or qualitatively it's coming up what why are you asking us if there's terkestrone in your product why would any look man I'll, I'll tell you why i just I somehow had food in my teeth i spit some chicken on my microphone don't use out to change cooker. maybe maybe not if they're not selling me what i thought they were selling me of course i want you to know about it do you think i don't want anyone to know then I just sweep it under the rug let's pretend well I, why would real quick real quick here's my thing if this is uh him trying to appease his audience i why all the editing and shit <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm like, just sit down, explain what's going on. Like, he's trying to make a joke out of this already. That that's the, that's the only thing that like has me twerked about 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 the video stuff besides the voice. But it's you know, so it's this is not. I don't take this as genuine. You know what I, I mean I, at all? I actually think Greg's. I think he has his place. I think people love him. I think he's entertaining, and and but but I'm speaking clearly not against Greg about practices in the supplement industry. And I'm sorry if what I said earlier sounded personal. I did not intend this to be as such. I want to, I want it to be where I walk up to Greg in public that we don't hate each other because if there was a fight, I'd, I'd hate to see who wins. No, there won't be a fight. I'm 41 years old. I don't even fight. And I'm not, I don't fight anybody. Yeah, Alan did say twerks. I think he meant that. Was, that was the right word. But Okay. Anyone think I would do that? I don't understand. Anytime I make a mistake, do I not come out and make a video and say, hey, this happened. This is the reason why. This is what's going on. What I do know is what I used worked. Okay, time out. So the argument here from a guy who admittedly has used steroids for years and years and years is that even though uh, the only test we've seen shows that this product does not meet label claim, because the manufacturer or maker of it says it works, that it obviously works. Look, man, I'll be real. There are steroids I have taken where I don't notice them. You know, like you don't know, like, what do you mean it worked? Like it's such a subjective thing. And there's so many variables. Was your diet exactly the same? Was your training exactly the same? Was your stress level the same? Was your sleep the same? Selling on the basis of it didn't meet lab claim, but it worked for me. And of course, it's going to work for your followers because it's the power of suggestion. Look, man, there was um, a myostatin inhibitor that didn't do anything. It was, um, it was made by Biotest, and it was called MyoX, I believe, and it was a seaweed extract, and it, it didn't do anything at all. But guess what? You had people online saying that they were gaining 30 pounds of lean mass and they felt it and their muscles were full. Look, dude, the power of suggestion and placebo is huge. And that's what he's trying to do here, if, if I'm not mistaken. I would never do that. Look, man, my products, look, man, I've never said that my natural test booster insurgent made me feel a certain way. You want to know why? Because I'm on steroids. I'm on steroids. Okay, but I will say that here's the ingredients that are in there that you can test for and they'll actually be in the product. And uh, hey, guess what? Um, there's science and data behind them, human data in most cases. Oh, and by the way, Jimmy down the road, his balls doubled in size. Not saying that happened, but Jimmy, Jimmy's got some big balls now. Jimmy's got some big balls. Jimmy's balls. <laughs> All right, let's, let's focus, uh, focus, focus, focus. Sorry, man, this guy. Man, every time am I purposely putting him in very awkward facial positions when I pause? I don't this? know. Just, just as a real quick, I tested the pro I tested our product for six months on, then a month off, then six months back on before we even labeled. You know, like um, I, I gained I gained four pounds of muscle in a month. What? That is an insane claim. Okay, like that's that's. Honestly, Greg, as a, 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 a formerly competitive IFBB pro, I bet you even if he jumped on a cycle, gaining four pounds of muscle in a month probably wouldn't happen. Right now, and, and he's older than me, right now, if I jumped on a cycle, I'd be lucky to gain two pounds. I'd be lucky to gain two pounds. I'm in the, that's why I'm like, I'm 212, <laughs> bitches. <sighs> oh, oh, I'll address bio girl later. Absolutely. No worries. Yeah. I know that for fact that it worked for me. By the way, I didn't own BioGrow. I was simply a retailer.
I never got money off it other than selling it as a retailer. And it wasn't even that great of a mover. It was good, but I sell more fucking clash than I'll ever sell bio grow. You can argue all you want about it being placebo, possibly placebo for some people. I just know what it did for me. I know what it did for other people. I only reported what it actually did to people, what they said it did. I've not ever said that it works for everyone. I've never said it's guaranteed to put on five pounds of muscle in a month. I report what it does for me and for other people. We've talked about hyper responders, poor responders, and so on. And hyper responder to a plant sterile. So let's so that, assume that this guy. That, so that's not, that's not a real thing. In other words, well, I guess there's non-responders to creatine, I, but like, what's a hyper response, like plant sterols, like, okay. The guy who did the testing did it all for the great reasons that he's legit and he's really good at testing and he <gasps> never made any mistakes. He's saying that the tracrestron that I've tested has 0.8 milligrams and that there's 15 milligrams of 20 HE, which are both ectosteroids. But they are decipherable. And let me explain how lab tests work. So there's HPLC and UV. And essentially you have the, the, the control. And then you have the item being tested. So you're assuming the control is the control, right? Like there's been some tests where, for example, creatine ethyl ester, they had trouble actually creating the control. They had trouble creating the sample to go against. So Chromadex was able to actually create that. It took them like a year. This is creatine ethyl ester. And essentially what you're doing is with UV or HPLC, let's say UV is you're shining light and you're looking how it reflects and the spikes and the, basically you're comparing the, the way these different things react to the control versus the actual tested um, substance. So lab tests are still subject to human error. However, the fact that it did come out as beta ectosterone, which I would argue unless you're taking grams and grams and grams is, is decently worthless based on the human data. And he's going to cite some human data later on. Um, all right, let's go. We don't know what other ectosteroids there are because when you do the testing, you have to have a reference standard. There you go. Reference standard. Oh, we're, we're starting to sound sciencey here. Very difficult for you to understand. I don't want to get into those details. There's no details. You don't know the details, Greg. It's not that hard to explain. I just explained it, but you had no idea that's how these tests work. <laughs> so you really had to explain they put two things up against each other and see how they match. That's literally how testing is done. It's not, it's not rocket surgery. <laughs> rocket surgery. Yep. Oh, God. But there was in fact one human study that made it really, really popular. And was that human study using turkesterone? Nope. It was using 20 HE. To me, that's interesting. So this is the fun part. This is, this is my favorite part of the video. Because in that study, they showed that 12 milligrams of 20 HE and 48 milligrams of 20 HE were far superior to that of placebo. And so could it in fact be possible that the reason the Turk Builder is working is because it contains more than 12 milligrams of 20 HE? So basically, it doesn't contain turkestrone, which is what it's named after because it's a marketing buzz, but it probably contains an ingredient that actually works. This is the funniest argument I've ever heard for not meeting label claim. So put it in perspective. Is anybody here going to argue with me that creatine works? Creatine Why works, not? right? Let's say I go to, go to, go to tigerfitness.com and I buy some glutamine because I really have some gut issues, you know, and I want to heal. I want, I want to, I want to mediate it with some glutamine. So I get the glutamine. I notice it's granular and not, and not powdery. So I send it off to a lab and test it and it's actually creatine. So you're arguing that even though I purchased glutamine because I got what is potentially a more effective supplement in glutamine in, I'm sorry, in creatine, that I shouldn't be upset that you literally put the different product. You mislabeled your product is what it is, um, if that's the case. And I'd love to see another lab test. I'd love to see it. Um, but this is the most asinine argument in, in so, the history so, of asinine arguments. So the, lab, so the claim now is, you're right, it's not 
the label doesn't match what's in the bottle, but since it's working for you, that's the excuse. Yes. Well, because it's working, like there's there's dudes in the comments saying, I took Turk Builder and it worked. It's like, you understand placebo. You literally have people cure cancer with prayer. I don't oh, want I to also, the- I also want to, I also want to point out it depends on you know when they're on it are they working out more intensely did they clean their diet up what else were they using there's many yep. many it's been actually scientifically proven that people who take supplements work harder because they think supplements working for them so there there's a lot of variables but it works for me bro isn't really the answer or we have an ingredient, even though it did, there's, there's none of the product intended to be in the capsule because there's product not on the label <laughs> or way off dose with the label. It's OK. That's not OK, dude. The thing is, when people buy a product, they're buying that they're buying what's in it. They're buying the milligrams. They're buying the ingredients. So that's another thing is that <clears throat> with the ingredients we have that we use like Slim Aluma and Garcitrin and KSM and Thinogen. These are all patented ingredients that are not only verified and tested by the patented patent owners, but then they're verified and tested by, by the actual manufacturer because we use a credible manufacturing facility. So if you even have to question your manufacturing facility, we have to, dude, I can have a variance of vitamin C being off and it throw off an entire run of let's say we have a pre-workout with vitamin C in it. I had to, I had to dump a ton of pre-workout because my vitamin C wasn't within the 10% variance. And it delayed me long, It delayed me getting it back in stock by like seven weeks. Damn. So that's how it's done. Not this whole, I call my manufacturer and I'm like, what's going on? You should know what's going on. Look, <clears throat> at the end of the day, well, let's listen to the video. Well, here's the thing. Let me get into this. I, sometimes it pisses me off when people have no business. They give us a bad name. They give us, they, 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 they make everything look bad when they don't know how the processes work. Right. And they don't do these things. So if you're taking one pill a day, you're getting 15. If you're taking six pills a day, like I was, you're getting 90, about double that high end dose. One thing we will always be doing as part of harder than last time is we're working harder than last time to ensure that we have the best possible products. I wanted to have premium products second to none. The best of the best, the best that you can get. We've already changed the formula. Okay. I'm not seeing beta ectosterone on here. Um, Ashwagandha, not even using the patented KSM or or any of the other patented versions. And well, at least he's using patented uh, Biopre. For Turk Builder yeah. once, we altered Here's the, the amount of ashwagandha to give people the best possible results. And we're continually trying, working our best to ensure that it's the best possible product you can get. I will continue to use this product as... So the, the thing is, there's, if I'm not mistaken, that's a label issue. Um, because the source isn't listed on the Turkesterone. It just says 10%. Where if you look at this, Slim Aluma, and then it has Caroluma, Fimbriata Extract, and then Aerial Parts. Gar- and you can, <clears throat> you can look this up, guys. Garcitrin, Garcinia, Cambogia, and Garcinia Indicia Fruit, Rind Extract, and then in brackets, 50% hydrocitric acid and 5% Garcinol. So there's already um, some compliance issues on this label. Um, definitely compliant. I don't, I, I don't want to mess it up by everyone. So the compliance issues, the ashwagandha actually is compliant. I'm not sure if the turkestrone is, and I, I would have to look up more, but generally speaking, it doesn't say what it's extracted for. You see what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't say, is it for turkesterone? Is it for ectosterone? Or is it just some random like leaf? And so- what's the source? Is it a leaf? Is it a root? So just to play, and I know this is going to, this, I like almost, I almost feel physical pain while doing this, but just to play devil's advocate for Greg, could this just be an issue that he does not know what he's talking about and is trusting people? So the manufacturer should be able to proof this label and the black pepper fruit extract is, if you notice, he got rid of the bioprene. So he's using an off brand on that too. So remember the original one had bioprene. So he he saved money going with the black pepper fruit. 
Okay. Yeah. So unless he's using the patented and he doesn't want to list it, or maybe there was a supply issue. <clears throat> but yeah, um, fifteen. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's. <laughs> It's the best possible product you can get. I will continue to use this product as I believe it works. That's all we need, right? He believes it works, right? Like that's all, that's all it takes. We don't need science. We don't need anything. Also realize there's no human data on turkesterone. None. None. And the ectosterone study has been torn apart left and right. And that's the reason I haven't made ones. And I came out with it again. It's 2005. This is a long time ago. That's the reason I haven't made one since because, and I can make one tomorrow. I can make a turkesterone and have it on the market in two weeks. If you don't believe it works and you don't want to buy it, then don't buy it. And so please thank you for your patience and understanding doing the best I can in dealing with this, especially while in Magnatawan, I'm literally in a cottage here. I'm not. That looks more like a holiday in express. Somebody said, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm doing the best I can to meet your claims oh, of fraud oh. while, while, while staying on vacation. I'm doing the best I can. Dude, he to needs your to, claims oh, of he fraud. Needs to work, bro. He needs to work in DC. No. Yeah, like he's, no like, he's like the, he's like the white male AOC. <laughs> oh, I was so scared in the Capitol building. You weren't there. Oh, yeah, you weren't there. Oh, I'm gonna have to trade in my Tesla. Woe is me. Not able to research this as well as I would want to, and so I've been accused of so many things my entire life. I had to rebuild from scratch. I've been torn down, rebuild. So this is the appeal to pity. Mm -hmm. This is philosophy. I took this shit in college. So basically you're appealing to people's pity for what you've gone through. And we've all used it, whether subconsciously or consciously. Um, it's basically like, Hey, uh, Oh, I'm on vacation. I'm taking time out of my vacation. And Oh, I, people have torn me down. Like I'm the underdog. That's, that's not, I'm not mad at that. Like that's what's going on. Torn down, rebuild, keep coming back stronger and harder than last time. There you go. There's the motivational speech. Should we write up there with Andy Frisella's and uh, who, who's that? Who's that other guy? Who's that? Who's that? The, the, the dude who is on, he's, he's the next CT Fletcher of motivation. This guy here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They broke, me, they broke me down. They will not take my turkestrone. <laughs> and I'm not going to give up and I'm not going to lie and I'm not going to sell out and I'm not going to lose my integrity and you can say Ooh, what you will. A, whoa, whoa. That one, that one was almost a little bit, I, I I saw I'm, I saw I saw smoke coming out of yours. I'm 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 woo, woo. Oh, frankly, okay, we're we're good, we're good, we're good. Woo. I'm getting kind of excited at this. But this is the Whoa. truth. I'm being open, honest, and transparent. He is. He is. He literally said, "I don't know what's in my product, and if it's not meeting label claim, it's better than what the label claims." <laughs> I mean, he is being honest. I have no reason to lie. And you're saying, yes, you do. Money. I'd rather not make a single extra dollar my entire life than have to lie to make that money. And so if you want to oh support- Oh my God, are you fucking- Oh, oh I got to address oh this. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, so, so Gary said I haven't, he hasn't seen content from me in years. I literally post a video a day. Oh. Gary, I, I post a video a day, five Instagram posts a day. And, uh, to, so Greg's working and I'm not. So this guy has no idea what I do every day, does he? No. And the, the thing about these people <laughs> is like th this. This is this is what he's. Why, why would anybody defend what's going on here? Like I'm the bad guy. I'm literally telling you how supplements are made. And I mean, it's, it's obvious. It's obviously like just Gary. a nut hugger. Gary. Also, Gary, you need no morbidity. You have three chins. Badly, badly, badly. Yeah. It's these, oh, it's these people that it's these people that uh that, that all of a sudden lie. think that YouTube is the end all know all. Like it, oh, you, yeah. you you do realize yeah, I haven't seen anything from you from years. Mark is literally on talk shows right now, you stupid fuck. I was literally in Texas <laughs> last week on the Blaze. When has Greg been on the Blaze TV? To lie to make that money. Nah, I don't know. Real, 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 real quick, real quick. Well, the, real quick. the label could call be him, one. Call him up. I will have Greg on my channel any day. Five minutes notice. Any That'd be day. fun. He, and, 
and he and he watch. He, I know he watches all these videos. I would love to have a conversation with him. He can he can defend this. I will I will I will act just like I'm acting now. I will try to be as professional as possible without making my ears bleed. Um, and and we can go from there. And so, if you want to support me, click the link in the description. Get the supplements. And yeah, buy my stuff. Even though I just said <laughs> it might not be. Look. And as always, the Circle Diet Book, the Cookbooks Coach. Okay. Um, ready to go to just the two people setting here. Yeah. There we go. All right. So in summation, hopefully I didn't go too hard on him, but there were a lot of things said there that need to be addressed. Number one is, and he'll probably do a response video to my response video, which is fine. Uh, number one is you need to know what's in your supplements, right? Like you need to actually test your ingredients and you need to know where they're being made. So my question is, if he doesn't know the ingredient that's in this product, what makes you think he knows the ingredients in our other products, <clears throat> you know? So, um, yeah, I don't really, I don't really know what to, uh, what to say other than that. And, oh, I was, I was actually on, um, I was on two shows last week. Yeah, I was on slightly offensive and I'm about to just get rid of this guy. Um, so yeah, so anything to add on that, Alan? Again, I wanted this to be more educational. And, um, I th and here's here's the thing, man. I I found it educational because my thing is I don't I don't understand how like shit like that because this was when we talked about, uh, like a year and a half ago about making this product. This was my worry, you know. Like I mean, I I told you like it has to be right because it, it, it you know it, it has to it it has to do what it says we're going to do and it has to be equivalent to what it is and that's why when i came to you you were like we use all patented ingredients we'll use them at the doses that that are helpful and we're going to test it out first and that's what we've done and my biggest issue about this it's just to a great degree performance supplements need like any supplement you should really want the backing for if there's can't be science mm -hmm. behind it i don't understand the point to it necessarily like we know caffeine works we know creatine works we know scientifically the beta alanine compliant you know combined with creatine work like i just like so when we get into like vague areas like something that may or may not work and then it's may or may not be in the bottle there's too many may or may nots you know yep absolutely well that's pretty much it uh I, we, we broke it down part by part and I hope that he gets his shit together. But even if he does, I, I just, again, this isn't about me liking or not liking Turkestrone. This is about meeting label claim. That's it. Or knowing what's in your product and manufacturing processes and everything. Um, <clears throat> so let's get to question. Let's just answer these things. And we got, we got time. Yeah. You got time, Alan. Yeah, I got time. Um, Mark, what happened to saying you went pro on TRT, but here you're saying on the steroids? Obviously, that's saying it seems like you're meant. No, no, never said that. Um, steroids are TRT, and TRT are steroids. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much that. Um, he made millions selling a product with no idea what's in it or side effects. I, I would say um, the side effects are probably very low, if any, for a plant sterile. But the with no idea what's in it is the part that because he even said it's active. So it went on to promote ectosterone instead of saying it, this. This video wasn't about ectosterone. It was about right. whether his product had turkestrone. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Looking, 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 looking for another comment. Drop the link for your fat burner. Um, if you go to uh, shit, we don't have it in stock. <laughs> It'll be in in the next couple of weeks. Keep an eye on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I put I put the link for no morbidity in there too. Oh, sweet, perfect. Did you dying to see your take on? Okay, this is from before the video. Let me go down. So yeah, Kenny Ko, um, he did a video, and it was a little more trash talky. Um, I don't think ours was trash talky. It was pretty much saying what was going on. Uh. So Derek and more plates, more dates. I don't think he was scamming. I think Derek's trying to handle the situation. I do. And I don't know if we know they use the same manufacturer. I think there's a lot of people who are speculating they do. I don't know if they do, but that's besides the point. Either way, they, they should have those assurances from the manufacturer. Um, Derek has says some of his batches may be underdosed. Oh, God.
Well, I mean, again, he's nipping it in the bud, not just saying, well, it works for me. You know, Derek's actually getting to the root of this, right? Not all Tercestrone products are the same. Well, I mean, there's different extracts. There's different uh, percentages and there's different uh, uh, standardizations. Okay. Um, I mean, Mark does. Like I, like I can tell you that, and I will. I won't. Like I've read every study on our on on the product I've got with them. You know, like I th I think that's due diligence. If you ask me, let's be honest. How many fitness influencers actually know what's in in their products? I get more plates, more dates. Does a lot of people just purchase products and have them branded under their name? I Mark, is that true? What was that? Reading comments. Do you do you, do you think a lot of these? Do you think a lot of these fitness people? Uh, just like get a product, a product and slap their name on it. Like somebody else formula. They don't know what's in it. They just formulate. Yeah, nine, and most of it. Yeah. I mean, if you look at a certain guy with the last name muscle, if you look at his product, there's, there's no, none of those doses make sense. Like why would you put a hundred milligrams of agmatine in something? Right. So I, I think that for the most part, what will happen is uh, a manufacturer or some kind of a, uh, a company would come up to these guys and be like, Hey, we'll make you your pre-workout. We'll do everything. Let's just have you market it or put your name on it. And you're going to do, I actually think that Greg has enough money and he's big enough or I think he owns all his shit. And I think he's, uh, I think he's, I think he's crushing it and I'm happy for him. Like I, I think, I think he's a lot of money. Yeah. I think he's fine. I think he's There's actually a, killing it where he doesn't need to do that. There's a lot of people that bought a $150 cookbook. Like a PDF cookbook. Yeah. Like you can that, sell them. There's no overhead, nothing. Yeah. It's not tangible. That's kind of amazing to me. Like I'm waiting for his third one to come out and like the secret ingredient be his ball sweat. Ball sweat sold separately. You know, like, because <laughs> you know, his people will buy it. It's crazy. I mean, there's a lot of different plant sterols and different compounds that might have some effect. Tribulus and Long Jack being two of them. Okay. Agree with Alan. This video is heavily edited, probably to avoid incriminating himself or saying the wrong thing. Um, I, I don't know. I think he pretty much incriminated himself when he said that it's ectosterone. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think he cleared this with his attorney. Um, I, I simply think that he made a video and, and he, I think he's being honest. That's the thing is I think he is being 100% honest. I didn't see one lie in that video. That's the thing is that Greg is being honest as hell. He's saying, I don't know what's in this product, but it appears to be ectosterone and ectosterone works better than terkesterone. So just deal with it. Oh, and it works for me, which it probably does. Placebos are extraordinary drugs. Um, yep. They have an effect on almost every symptom known to mankind and work in at least a third of the patients and sometimes up to 60%. Uh, Greg shows a lab test, but it appears to be translated from Chinese. So that is a certificate of analysis. Uh, from my understanding, the only source you can get tercasterone is China. So while back in the day, ectosterone was available also from Russia as Raponticum, I doubt you could order it from Russia right now due to the, 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 the embargoes and stuff, right? Yeah, I would, I would doubt that. He did also say in that video, like, he didn't want to get, it's too complicated. He didn't want to explain it to them a couple of times, like, where I, or at least once where I was just like, so, but like, you should be able to sit down and explain what your products do to people. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, that would be my guess, you know, other than it worked for me and yeah. nobody knows what it is. And we've been using it since the fucking eighties. Um, bio grow. Oh, I'll take it. No, I never did the same thing. So bio grow, we carried it at tiger fitness. I did a video entitled the next creatine question mark because it was blown up and getting popular and we sold it guys. I own a retail store. Yeah. My job is to, is to tell you what's in stock personally for me on BioGrow, I never said I gained anything. Um, for me now, Jerry Ward got phenomenal results. Jerry Ward loved it. Like this dude, even before he was sponsored by them was like, this shit's amazing. And I'm like, yeah, here, I'll send you some more, bro. You know? So, um, yeah, BioGrow, I, I never once came out with my own BioGrow. Now, we do have overtraining solution. I do believe in the recovery um, RFPs, which BioGrow doesn't even have. But also like the the immune factors and everything involved in colostrum. And that's yeah, why... So that, that's the, it's, I was going to ask you if that's the it's colostrum thing. That's the it's uh, colostrum thing. 
because that's all it fucking is. Where overtraining solution is actually standardized RFPs, IGGs, all that good shit, right? So, I'll, I'll, yeah, I, I don't take back anything I said about BioGrow. I was hyping up a product that I sell without any bad claims. It's like, hey, you guys want BioGrow? We got it. It's like, you ever see those ads? It's like, if you want it, we got it. That's what we had. <laughs> I didn't say you need it. I said, we got it. Um, yeah, I'll gladly, I'll gladly defend that any day of the week. Um, let's see. Mm, questions, questions. I keep telling myself a Tic Tac is going to give me steroid effect. That's funny. Uh, Greg's content used to be great. was just education, nothing else. Now I feel like every video is just set up to sell to Castro on a new bar, which by the way is a copycat. But <laughs> he literally copied my bar. <laughs> you know, the thing is though, I, I, I don't begrudge him doing his grift. I, I do think it's shady that like his friend Derek made the Tocastrone and then uh, he made one. And then like he, he took the idea of your bar and, made, and tried to make one too. You know, but I, I, I'm going to point this out again. If you look at Greg's history, like if you trusted him to begin with, a guy that has a shady history and then sits in front of you in a fake voice with a fake with fake body body movements and a, like almost a fake personality, who says trust me over anybody else, it, it, you get what you fucking deserve almost. You know? Yeah. I, uh... Mark has more brand. I wouldn't say I'm that smart, but again, I, I know, I know what I'm good at and it's hey, definitely Mike, not bodybuilding. I know. I, hey, Mike, how you doing? Send me a message on TikTok, Mike. So sterile saponos are worth looking into. I think they're worth looking into. I just don't think they're going to give you steroid like gains or even, even close. Mark is uh, actually crying in a human form. That's funny. Yeah, I, I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, it's an anime thing. It, it, mean, it means you're badass. So you've tried the Turk product. You could tell a difference. What difference? Like what? Because I mean, I've taken Anavar. The only thing I really felt a difference on, like as a steroid, like as a steroid was, um, I mean, I'll feel a difference on Clash or Kinetic, but anything or, or like something that blunts my appetite, like no morbidity, but like, I've never felt that whole, like I'm on steroids thing. I've never felt that for me. I only feel toxic. Like if you're on a steroid that actually works like trend, like you're going to feel toxic. You're going to feel like shit because your body's processing all the toxins. But what do you mean you feel different? Like your pocket feels lighter. I'm just playing. But like, what does that mean? I feel a difference. I can tell a difference because honestly, like even when I'm on people like, man, when I'm on cycle, it maybe I just suck, but I just don't get that. I don't know if you do, Alan, but. You know, I mean, the, the thing about what I like about supplements, like <clears throat> I, the only, the only reason I didn't like the first couple of days we were on ours, I was on ours. I was like, it's just, I'm just a little less hungry. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I, I forgot to, I forgot to eat today. You know what I mean? Like, and for me, that's a, such a huge thing. Cause I'm a binge eater, you know, like it's, my life revolved around mm -hmm. the food as for like the only other ones that I've noticed, like on or off it, man, like mental jewels, just really fucking, um, I, you know, people talk about hyper responders. Somebody actually put it in there. Mental jewels. If I take four capsules, capsules of mental jewels, I can fucking see molecules. Yeah. That's somewhere. what I'm saying. Like I feel like, neural and i'll feel like energy stimulus like nootropics or pre-workouts but like i've never felt an androgen i've never felt anabolic i've never been like man i just feel anabolic like maybe more strength in the gym is what he means but even i, don't know, I mean i i took the hea for a long time and i never noticed on or off to tell you the truth and I, i'm on an estrogen blocker right now and i, I gotta say i don't notice the difference I, I can see it in my body but i don't like feel the difference you know this beautiful young lady just mic dropped the entire and summate sum summarized the entire 44 minutes we've been talking yes. with two simple sentences and a period it is it, it being effective or not isn't even relevant you can't mislabel products, period. Well, what happens if the mis what if that happens if there's something in there that somebody's allergic to? That's why you meet label claim. Mm -hmm. I think that's where we got away from it in this video. 
is that we need to talk more about the dangers of having mislabeled products. And Greg literally went on and said he doesn't know if his product is mislabeled. But if it is, you're getting even better results. That's scary. Yeah. Like, think about it. You're having a consumable good. A consumable good that you're ingesting. And the guy who is responsible for making it and testing it and marketing it and selling it is telling you that he has no idea what's actually in the product, but the stuff in there might be better than the stuff that's supposed to be in there. I don't know how anybody cannot, cannot be scared hearing that. Right. Yeah. This is one Jeff. Yep. Allergens. There's another thing. Yep. yep. It depends. It's label. People talking about label. Um, MTS and Ambrosia. Look, man, I mean, I'm not going to make this about, we wanted to educate you. And if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to tell you about Ambrosia, yeah. right? Like we, Ambrosia is, we go so far above and beyond with our testing. It's stupid. It takes mm -hmm. us an extra two weeks waiting for the, 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 um, the st basically steroid testing for it, right? Like the banned substances test that takes time and money and all that thing. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Okay. This one, this is why you are a wealthy man, Mark, you know, your business inside out. Um, I mean, I, 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 t I really care about what I do. Yep. This is so mislabeling is a tremendous liability. That's what I was getting at. That's why people, people for some reason think that this is about some kind of dick wagging contest. Look, right. man, if his shit came out 100%, I wouldn't have done a video. I would have probably been like, yes, good, good. Our industry needs honesty. Instead, we have this big what to do about terkestrone. The argument shouldn't be whether terkestrone is actually in the product. The argument should be why anyone would waste their money on terkestrone. Right. I mean, we should be debating the efficacy of the supplement, not... Right. If the supplement is actually in the bottle, that is the problem. That is the problem. So, and it, it, it's a black eye to the industry because he's such a big voice with a tremendous following. And this is a guy who literally has built his entire page off of roasting people, natty or not videos. And then he has an opportunity to bring out supplements to help people reach their goals. And that's what I look at supplements as it's a tool in your toolbox that helps people reach their goals. Mm -hmm. And then he doesn't do his due diligence or his homework in bringing out true to label supplements, which is just, it's disappointing. It, it truly is because look, man, I initially went off and said Turkestrone, you know, because I kept getting questions about it. So I do a video. I'm like, look, Turkestrone, it was shit back in the 90s and it's shit now. But if somebody can get a human study or show some data, you know, technology and, and extracts have come a long way since 1995, yep. right? I'll gladly retract that statement. Yet to be a human study. But there's a lot of what you saw Greg do. Hey, bro. It worked for me. <laughs> I mean, how absurd is it that we're defending people who are who are doing shady things? Ah, it's just crazy. This this, this guy, this one kid, is sucking on Greg's dick really hard. Like, I bet you Greg feels it all the way on vacation right now. Um, which one? The the gray, the, the, the gray yeah. Well, he was nice. He said that, you know, making moves. Um, I, I really hope um, that, that Greg comes out and fixes this issue. And this is not taking responsibility for it. This is not owning up to it. He did right. a video saying that he doesn't know what's in his product, but if the test is right, what's actually in the product is better than what was supposed to be in the product. If I'm reading that wrong, Gray, I want you, sir, I wish we could punch him in. I want, I want him to explain to me how anything we said is in the least bit false 
or is the least bit beyond what the scope is, right? Like is that's the, the thing, though. I, I think we we like when we talked about this beforehand. This isn't we weren't trying to. Ro- I'm not trying to roast him. You're not trying to. You're not trying to roast him. This is actually a real thing, like about supplements. If people people need to start being able to have faith in like what in late like we can't have faith in almost anything anymore. Like if you can't trust somebody to at least even own up to something like this, what the fuck? So, so the FDA does have laws on the book. You do have to quantifiably and qualifiably pass lab tests when tested randomly. Mm -hmm. The reason they don't have to be FDA approved, which you guys would hate because you'd be spending $80 for a, a 20 pack of vitamin C. Because we'd have to go through the same testing as the as the um, as the big pharma, which, as you know, is is very fair and and they do not lie ever. So, so the thing is, there's an act called Deshea, D S H E A, of 1990, I believe, and Deshea gave us the guidelines for dietary supplements. The supplement industry is regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. On any given day, including today. One of the manufacturing facilities that I utilize for my products is being audited by the FDA. That's how many I work with. So the FDA does audit. However, there are still underground labs and there are still non FDA compliant labs that exist. So no, it is not FDA approved supplements, but is in an FDA compliant facility. And when the FDA comes to your facility, they stay there for about three to five days and they go over everything and they take so many of your resources and they basically set you behind about a week in production. So just a heads up, they go over your paperwork, they go over your internal and external lab testing. So anybody who says that is the wild, wild west in the supplement industry you know, those are, they're, they're buying from companies who don't follow the rules. And in any business, there's going to be a gray market or a black market or, or a market that isn't following the rules. We follow the rules. I like the FDA. I talk to my contact from the FDA at least once a week. Every label I make, I run past my contact at the FDA. I believe the FDA should be involved in some kind of regulation of the industry because we're dealing with consumable goods. I'm a libertarian, but I do think we do need some oversight for consumable goods, food like Chipotle when they had the salmonella outbreaks, we need to have some kind of a government entity. I like the FDA, at least the people I deal with there. The FDA has always worked with me on anything because I'm honest and I, if I have any questions, I go to them and I have a very good working relationship with the FDA. However, people selling SARMs and people who, I don't know, don't know what's in their product, they probably don't have as good of a relationship with the FDA as I do. So you're not going to hear me talk shit about the FDA. Even with the, 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 the shot like approvals, different department. Like yeah. you, I, I look the supplement arm of the FDA. A lot of people throw shade at them, but I think that they've been more than fair throughout my 20 plus years in this business. And we have had some things where we had um, an ingredient that was about to get chopped, but they give you plenty of warning. Like everybody's going off because hygienamine people are getting letters for that. Dude, we were told about that shit five years ago. If right. you're still using hygienamine, you're an idiot. <laughs> but we, I think the 2020s have proven there are quite a few idiots in the, in the world. Uh, I mean, th- th- who don't give a shit about what they put in their body. So, Yeah, and, but what's crazy is the internet and YouTube allows us to earn trust yeah. and by giving information. So when you have, when you have somebody who utilizes that, and comes out and says they don't know what's actually in their product. That's scary. It is what it is. Yeah, it you is know? what it is. I'm check- I'm, I was checking out, uh, somebody just said he uploaded. I thought he maybe uploaded about us, but no. 
Nah, nah. I mean, he's ready. He's ready. And I deserved it because I kind of went off at him because Chris did. And that was kind of stupid of me. And I apologized. And people said I was a bitch. And I'm like, no, I was wrong. Can't I just be wrong? (laughs) But look, man, I hope everything goes well. Um, But, but honestly, the supplement industry is, is you, you can't, you have to know what you're doing. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of legalities. At the end of the day, you're producing consumable goods. And that's yeah. a huge responsibility because people are ingesting these and yep. when people ingest things. They're taking a risk. So that's really, well, they, that's one of the reasons why like for, for, for all our stuff, like the patent, the patented ingredients that are the past safety. That's, that's what I like. It. Well, there's you know, safety data and there's grass status. All these ingredients have grass status. Generally right. recognized as safe is what grass means. Um, by the way, Jacob. Um, so again, there's different departments in the FDA. I deal with the natural food side for Outright Bar, and I deal with the sup- the dietary supplement side. And again, I've I've had nothing but pleasurable. Obviously, it's not pleasurable when the FDA contacts you, but they've been very <laughs> kind. They've been very kind and very easy to work with, and they just want to make sure the people I work with that people are safe. And I'm not saying, dude, dude <clears throat> people do trust the FDA. Yeah, but again, the side I deal with is the side that keeps people in check from serving you poison. Yeah, I think that's a noble job. Yeah. I mean, it's just like the same thing. There's good and bad cops too. You know, like I mean, absolutely. No, a cab, bro. <laughs> yeah, no shit, no shit. I'm going full Antifa. Anyway, that's that. Hopefully, if Greg watches this, he doesn't take this as an offense. He will. Yeah. I but, could have been way worse. But I just want you guys to understand how this stuff is made. I want you guys thank, to understand what to look for. And thank you for explaining it. Like, I mean, like I said, I just, I wanted to, I asked Mark about a teachable moment. We figured we'd have everybody have a teachable moment from him. You know? Yeah. And if you guys have any questions, um, let us know. Uh, you could DM me on Instagram at Mark Loblin or DM Allen at MFC. Yeah. And um, keep in contact with us. You know, it's, um, yeah, it's it's really um oh wait, here's some hmm, this is something. His policy if you buy his product, no we fa- refund. If you buy his training, he'll train you through online coaching. If you buy his cookbook, he'll give you the link page. Wow, you know, Tiger Fitness, and that's the thing. If you don't like if you're stupid, <laughs> yeah. if you're an asshole and you don't like no morbidity, you don't like planta, you don't like clash 3D, you buy it from tigerfitness.com, we have a hundred percent. Money back guarantee. Right. Because we stand behind our products. See, the thing is, you can do two things, man. I've been in this industry a lot longer than Greg. And the reason is I don't screw people over. Yep. So there's a, there's a, you can make your millions of dollars really fast and not look yourself in the mirror at night and go on your vacations. Or you can grind. You can work up from lower class to middle class to upper middle class to rich as fuck. Yep. It just takes longer. Absolutely. Hey man, but I, I do, I wanted to thank you again. I'm going to get running because I do have, I have clients speaking of speaking like this guy was like, he, he trains you through online. Like I actually talk to my clients every day. I have actual video conference consultation. Yeah. Them. All right. Well, so. thanks Alan. We'll let you go. Thank you guys for watching. Man, thank you very much, man. See you next time. Bye.